Hi, Ed, Dragon Baby Babes here. Um, sorry it's been a while since my last uh, upload. I've been just absolutely, I've been sick, so I didn't want to get on here and do something, um, you know, while I'm like coughing and everything like that. Um, today I wanted to take some time and talk about the Evolve, uh, the DNA 200 uh, Vapor Shark. So. Um, I've gotten to play around with this for about a week since it was delivered. Um, I was on the second wave of deliveries after the first wave sold out from the place that we got it from. So I was pretty excited to finally get my hands on it and try it out and see it. Um, it's my first um, high wattage mod um, and it was really exciting to get. Um, the box is, you know, pretty simple no frills box. You do get a flat charging cable with it so you can connect to your PC. Um, I would recommend though if you do, um, if, if your tower for your PC is not right next to you that you get something a little bit longer with a micro USB input that'll fit into the uh, Vapor Shark right there. Um, the, you know, other than that, you know, pretty basic comes out of the box, you're ready to go. Um, it has about a 50 to 60% charge on it when you first get it. So it's enough for you to be able to kind of like plug it in, play with your tanks and figure out what you're doing before you actually start messing with the chip and before you start messing with the profiles and getting all of that set up. Um, the other thing is that if you are not familiar with mods and, and more advanced mods and things like that, um, this is not a mod for somebody who's just starting out. It really isn't. This is a mod for somebody who really knows what their preferences are, knows what kind of takes they like, what type of temperatures they like, things like that. Um, there's not an instruction manual with it like you would get with like the EVIC or, or the Cool Fire stuff like um, other types of mods. So just as a heads up for you. Um, as far as the mod itself goes, it's a, it's a really small, sleek mod. The screen is at the bottom there. Um, it looks really sharp. The the texture of the mod itself, the surface, is a nice rubbery matte black on there. Um, Size-wise, this is the Evic Mini. So if you wanted to compare it, you can see it's not that much larger. Um, and as far as width goes, it is right about the same thing. So it's, it's really nice if you, um, you know, if, if you're somebody who has smaller hands um, or somebody who just likes a smaller mod, a low profile mod, um, the, the Vapor Shark really does a good job with that. So I'm definitely, you know, I, I really like that coming out. Um, the battery pack is protected by a magnetic plate. It just simply goes right in there. There's a plastic clip at the bottom that you clip in there. Um, th one thing that is concerning is that there, the plastic clip doesn't feel as durable, so definitely make sure that you're mindful when you're taking the uh, pack off, uh, or excuse me, the, the battery plate off. Um, it, it's just one of those things that, you know, you, you always want to be on a lookout for. Um, again, I mentioned that the bottom is uh, where the screen is as opposed to on the, on the side that you get with a lot of other mods. Um, a lot of people have a problem with this because they're afraid, oh, you know, set it down and it breaks. But if you look, and I'll hold it at an angle, um, it's recessed in. So it's not going to lie flat or flush on your surfaces. There's actually a barrier there that should protect it from being, from falling over or excuse me, from, uh, smashing into something and cracking. Um, my husband has been using this as well and he is very, um, he's very, klutzy and very, you know, like bam. So, and he's not had a problem with it. Um, and he actually prefers it to be on the bottom because in a personal preference, he doesn't like the um, screen on the side because he's always afraid of like spilling juice on it or condensation or getting his fingers all over it. Um, so it, it's a personal preference. I don't have a problem with it. I actually really like the feature. Um, but if it's something that for you might be a make or break, just be aware that it is on the bottom there. 
Um, now, the chip in the mod itself is the Evolve DNA 200. Um, the thing with using a mod that has a chip like that, it's extremely customizable, so that's, that's an exciting thing. Um, but if you are somebody, again, who's just like kind of point and click, I just, I just want to be able to vape, I just want to be able to do my thing, um, this is not going to be a mod for you, you're going to have to set it up. You're going to have to work with it. You're going to have to try and get your profile set up. Now, once you get your profile set up, it's really easy. Um, you just go up and down when you get your new, uh, when you switch your, or when you put your new tanks on, it changes your profiles automatically. So, you know, that's, that's something that's really nice and intuitive about it. Um, but that initial setup, going into getting the software for the Evolve DNA chip, so you can do your initial setup, um, if you don't kind of know what you're doing, um, it can be a little intimidating and can seem a little overwhelming. Now, the plus side to this is that there is a hugely helpful forum section um, on the Evolve DNA site. So um, the developers of the chip are active in the forum. The community is active in the forum. There's tons of people in there that are always willing to help you out. Um, I think that I have probably asked just dumb questions, um, but I haven't had anybody that's been like, oh, you know, you're obviously an idiot. You shouldn't be using this. Um, so that's been a really helpful thing for me. Um, the, the, the people themselves, as, like I said, the devs are really active in there and the fact that they're totally willing to help and they listen to feedback from the community. Like I've seen where people have said like, hey, you know, what would be really great about this if you could do this in it. And then, you know, the devs, come in, they post on it, and then a couple of months later, they'll come back to it and they'll say, hey, you know, just so you know, we, we've checked this out and we think that this is an improvement that you would like. Um, and I think that right there, that's worth the money of the purchase it, it, when you have that type of dedication to the product itself. Um, now, you do have to download the software before you hook the mod up to your PC. Um, the website that you download it isn't on the box, so you do have to Google for it. Um, you Google it, it's on the first page. I believe it's the top result. Um, if not, it's the second result. So, you know, you click on it, download it, install it, and then you use the um, USB cable that came with it and hook it to your computer. So that, that part itself is pretty simple. Um, it automatically checks the authenticity of the chip, so you don't have to worry about it being a bum uh, product or anything like that. Um, and the only once you actually get in there and you start going through it, the, the profiles and to set everything up again is, is pretty simple, but you need to know what the coils you are using, what their ranges are, um, what you prefer to vape at, what temperatures you like, things, you know, all of those things that for the most part you don't really think about if you're using something like the Evic Mini or like the um, MVP. You know that when you get those, you can just adjust the wattage as, as you're going. Like, oh, I want something warmer. Um, now, it does have preheat settings on, on the um, box, which you can set when you set up your profiles for your different tanks. Um, and that's actually really kind of awesome. The beautiful thing about it is using that, especially if you use like nickel coils with your temperature control, you never have a cold hit. Um, the Snow Wolf, I've noticed, and I'll, I'll do another video about the Snow Wolf separately, um, but one, one advantage that the Vapor Shark does have over the Snow Wolf is the fact that there's no cold hits, whereas with the Snow Wolf, you can sit there and hit it three or four times, and it's not, it, it takes a few to get warm. So there is that advantage to it as well. Um, other than that, the, the big downside with it too is the battery. First off, the battery pack that comes with it um, is not set up in the, hang on one sec, I have a cat, one moment. The battery that is set up in it is not set up as software. Um, it's, so the battery readout that you get on your vapor chart until you actually go in and set up the settings and, and how many cells it is and everything like that, um, it's going to be an inaccurate readout. If you don't mind that, then don't worry about it. But if you do and you want accurate readouts, which I think, you know, especially if you're trying to plan a trip or something or your work day, 
that accuracy is going to be make or break for you. Um, the other part to it is the battery pack that comes with it. The battery life is about five or six hours, um, and that's chain vaping. Um, at between 50 and 70 watts. So that's not even maxing out at that, you know, 150 to 200 watts range. That's at a lower range for it. And when I say chain vaping, you know, I mean, you know, a couple of hits every 10 minutes or so. So there's that part of it. Um, now the forums that have it do have a lot of suggestions as far as how to extend your battery life as, po as much as possible. Um, and we have taken those steps with it as far as like turning down the brightness of the screen, making you know checking that your screen shuts off after a few seconds as opposed to like 10 seconds you know all these little things that you can do um, and we have done those and it increased our battery life to about it gave it about an additional hour um, but we're still maxing out that five to six hour range now the upside is is that it does have um, zip charging capabilities which fast charging capabilities so give and take instead of having you know to sit there for a few hours waiting for something to charge um, you can charge and it, it you know it takes about a half an hour to get a full charge on it so you know that that is another thing on it um, overall the uh, vapor shark is a really good price it's a really good um, entry level for people that are looking for more advanced mods um, if you are an, an, an advanced user it's also a very good um, decision um, especially if you're looking for something that you can carry around at work or you're um, you're looking for something that's a little bit more low-key instead of some of the um, 200 watt mods that that we're seeing that have a lot of really flashy designs and things um, so it, it's definitely like the work the professional mod if you're you know to put it like that um, the price point on it is really reasonable um, you can get it anywhere from $99.99 to about $139.99 depending on what site you go to um, also make sure that you're looking around seeing if like maybe the site that you buy it from has like a special um, which helps out with the price on it as well um, I have been using the um, Heracles Hydra tank on it and it does really good so I'll give you an idea of with it running at 35 watts of the vapor production that I can put out so as you can see it does a really good job um, and again that I I've been talking for 10 minutes now 11 minutes now I haven't taken a hit on it and that hit was warm so you know it does it hits all of my boxes it's a really good buy I would I would highly recommend it it's um, definitely lived up to all the hype for it um, so there you go um, as far as feedback if you have any questions about the um, about the DNA that I didn't cover in the video leave them below for me and um, I'll do an update video like I did with the Evic Mini and that seemed to help out a lot of people um, and but I mean as far as it goes for me there's really nothing that I don't think that I personally haven't gotten a chance to experience with it so you know definitely um, if there is something that you would like to hear about put it in there and um, I appreciate your patience with me and I hope you all have a great weekend thanks